Hi, in this video I'm show you how to link a chart from Excel into PowerPoint. So let's say for example I have this chart here and I've got this data and it is actually linked into PowerPoint here. So this would be helpful if you are updating a Excel file and linking it to PowerPoint. You're doing this maybe on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and you don't have to go and copy and paste uh, the image from one file to another. And you just want to work within Excel and later on when you open a PowerPoint you'll see that it's updated automatically. So let's say for example we have, uh, we'll change one data here, data point here, uh, Bob, maybe instead of 16 he has 200 sales for his item 3 and so he's just uh, got this green bar all the way up there. And you notice when I change it here, if I go into PowerPoint, that also changes because there's a dynamic link now between this particular chart and the Excel chart. So I'll show you how that gets done. Let me go ahead and go and delete this. Let me go delete this first and let me go back into Excel and let me go ahead and change this back so it doesn't skew everything. Let me make that back to maybe 15. I'll, I'll do the 15 here. So all you need to do is actually select the chart, press Control C to copy, and then go into PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint, go under the uh, Home tab and paste. Go to Paste, and you're going to click either uh, Paste using Destination Theme and Link Data, or Paste using Source for Formatting and Link Data. So the difference between these two, let me go ahead and select uh, this one. So the dif difference between these two is if I've ar already got some formatting in my slide, let's say go, let's say for example, I've got a template set up. I go under Design, and I already got some kind of theme. Let's choose a theme like this. We'll choose this Austin theme. The, you will notice that the colors of the column are the same as when they were in Excel. But, let me go ahead and delete this. Let me go ahead and delete this right now. If I go back into Excel and press Control C to copy and go back into PowerPoint and now I've got this theme here. Let me go back to the Home tab and go into Paste and Paste. Instead of using the source, let me use the destination theme. And what happens is you notice now the colors are different because it's using the theme colors based on this particular theme. So this style has certain themes. If I go under design, this particular style called Austin has certain themes for colors. So when you copy and paste uh, the chart, you can either have it uh, choose the destination, th destination theme and link the data or have it choose keep the source formatting and link the data. So depending on which one you choose, the colors will change. So there's other things that you can also do in here. Once you select it, once you insert it, the um, chart in here, there's some things that you can do. If we go under char the chart tools, once we select it here in PowerPoint, we go into design. There's things that we can do with the data now. We can refresh the data. Um, this happens automatically once you update it. But if you see there's, so there's something that's not being refreshed, you can go ahead and click refresh. As long as the file locations don't change, then you're able to ref refresh the data. It won't. It, it doesn't get broken. But if you say, for example, move your Excel file from one folder to another folder, that link between PowerPoint and Excel gets broken. So you'll have to adjust that again. But you can also go ahead and edit the data and select the data. If we edit the data, what it's going to do is going to bring up that that um, that Excel file again. So you can edit the data. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, undo that. Let me go and bring this back up into larger view. And you can go and select the data or switch the row and columns. So kind of a subset of what you can do. This is just going to actually open up the file in Excel so you can go ahead and modify it. So that's how you can link up charts between Excel and PowerPoint and make it a little bit more dynamic. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.